on a California highway. A good reminder that an erratic driver is by definition unpredictable and as such should be approached with great caution. A security camera records as a sports car, which according to witnesses, has allegedly been driving erratically, rear ends an SUV. Seconds later, two truck drivers, one of whom reportedly claims to have seen the sports car run a red light before this crash even occurred, try to box the driver in. This guy. As the driver of the rear-ended SUV approaches the sports car, the driver of the white box truck begins recording with his phone. He's been driving erratically since victory. Lock him in, lock him in. Hey, get back in your car, man. He's gonna hit you. Hey, come back, dude. Someone call 911. But the sports car driver apparently has no intention of sticking around. Fortunately, despite his best efforts, the driver's demolition derby has apparently knocked his vehicle out of commission, finally putting an end to the destruction. I don't think he can go anywhere, but he's trying. I would just go past him. A short time later, the 22-year-old driver is arrested. According to court records, He's convicted of reckless driving and misdemeanor hit and run. Most likely for the multiple times he rammed his car into other vehicles. Although it remains unclear what sparked the man's violent rampage, at least it ended with no one being seriously injured or worse. City, California. A dash cam records as Lily Peterson rides with her husband Michael and two of their children. We were just leaving our daughter's house. She lives in that area. I travel that road a lot every day. But today, this ordinary family drive filled with ordinary conversation is about to become anything but ordinary. I hope they wash my truck tomorrow. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to die. 911, 911. A car flies through the air between hanging power lines and lands bumper first directly in front of the family's car. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to die. 911, 911. When I saw it, I had automatically just screamed. I thought at first it was a rocket because I couldn't tell since I wear glasses. Maybe nobody was in there. Oh my God, Mike, can you just back up a little bit? Well, honey, just hold on. Get out of the way. You're not going to be able to do much. Get out of the way, please. My biggest fear was that that car was going to explode. Stop it, Carlos. Yeah, so we are on the onslaught of a ramp on uh, Yuba City, and there was a car that fell off the highway. It didn't fall off, it jumped the whole road. Everything starts to move like it seems slower, and your thought of process is not the same. Because in my whole entire life, I had never seen something like that. It was very difficult for me to find the phone, to dial 911, to remember what the uh, name of the street was, what had happened. As Lily remains on the phone with 911, Hold on. Stop it. I'm afraid to go over there, but Michael musters up the courage to scope things out. 
terrified of what he'll find. On Spot Road. Okay, what's the description of the vehicle? It's a white car, I think. It's on okay. fire. When I saw that car, I didn't even think that anybody was actually in it, the way it was going and the way of the impact. But when Michael looks inside the wrecked vehicle, he sees that it does, in fact, have a driver, a 26-year-old woman who is conscious and amazingly appears to have only minor injuries. The victim is taken to a nearby hospital. Apparently, she had lost control of her vehicle as it accelerated up an overpass after being involved in a hit and run on the adjacent highway. I can't imagine someone driving that fast to hit that ramp, go flying over the bridge, <coughs> and the impact falling on the other side of the road where we were at. Needless to say, the event left a very lasting impression on Lily and the whole family. I'm very cautious now because some people run the stop signs, uh, people are not paying attention, they're on their phones. Whatever you do, just be aware all the time because, you know, you're not the only one in the road. In Anaheim, California, Several police cars are in pursuit of a stolen vehicle worth $800,000. A fire truck reportedly taken from a medical center while paramedics were bringing a patient to the hospital. Though the reason the vehicle was stolen is unclear, the driver has been reportedly running from the law at speeds of no more than 40 miles per hour for over an hour with no sign of stopping until something remarkable happens. A man who's reportedly homeless walks into the middle of the street directly in the fire truck's path. And refuses to let the driver go any further. Now, as both men stare directly at each other, the police face a new problem. Because this David and Goliath face-off could cost the man blocking the fire engine his life. And then, incredibly, appears to drive the fire truck backwards. Moments later, the driver and the man in the street, once again, come to a stop. Driver, this is the Garden Grove Police Department. Exit the vehicle with the hands up. Police continue to stay back as the man in the street appears to try to reason with the man in the fire truck. Then, out of nowhere, it's over. Disaster averted. Police immediately rush in to take over. The driver is charged with theft of an emergency vehicle, felony reckless evading, and hit and run. And thanks to Richard Lynn, the man who risked his life to bring the situation to an end, a potentially tragic outcome is avoided. I seen him go by northbound in Brookhurst and figured he was just like one of my kids. Somebody that made a bad mistake. A great example of how in some situations, courage and compassion are the most effective tools one can have. In Port Orange, Florida, a resident films from his balcony as a moving truck attempts to pull out of a tight parking spot. Me and my brother just hear this crunch. These dumbasses just backed into a car. Look, oh no, oh 
Let's get the f out of here. Watch this. I bet you they take off. Watch. Look, 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 look. According to the man filming, the driver of this moving truck allegedly just sideswiped the vehicle parked on his right side when trying to get out. Let's see if he crunches it even more. And he's apparently learned nothing from the experience. Look at that. Oh, gnarly, dude. Oh, oh my God. This is great. Look at him. Oh, 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 dude. As the driver continues to rake the car side with the truck, his partner appears helpless to stop it. Oh, dude, he's gonna hit it even more. Oh my God. But with the finesse of a bulldozer, the truck's driver eventually does pull out. And then, according to the man filming, drives away. So these guys are just trying to take off now. So go ahead and get that license plate. Holy dude. The man filming notifies the owner of the damaged SUV. He claims police open a hit and run investigation, the result of which is unknown. As for the movers, oh, gnarly, dude. Oh. it might not be a bad idea to brush up with some truck driving lessons. A motorist in Sterling, Virginia, is monitoring a police scanner app when a report of a hit and run comes in. The striking vehicle was a blue Nissan Sentra. The should have significant front end damage. And as the driver waits at a stoplight, lo and behold, a blue car that appears to fit the police description slowly rolls by. So the driver decides to follow it to a nearby apartment complex, where he motions for the driver to approach. You all right, man? What happened, dude? Hello, I got into an accident. What'd you do? You just ran somebody? I mean, it's a pretty bad day. Yeah, man, it uh, sucks. You know the cops are looking for you, right? Yeah. Are you high right now or something? Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, you better be careful. Though it's not exactly clear what the would-be deputy's intent is. They're going to arrest you if they catch you, so. I'm going to stay here until they do. Yeah. I'm not running. Yeah, I mean, you already ran, though, so that you're It was just around the corner. Regardless, yeah. I ran. You're right. It's certainly not to offer any comfort. Did you call them? Yeah. Oh, you called the cops? Yeah. Yeah, dude, you're screwed. When the police arrive, the driver is arrested and eventually found guilty of driving while intoxicated and failure to stop after an accident, proving once and for all that it's better to stay and face the consequences than subject yourself to this. Oh, you called the cops? Yeah. Yeah, dude, you're screwed. And then face the consequences. Yeah. Not running. Yeah, I mean, you already ran, though, so that you're Road Wars has real life. Jaw-dropping moments captured by real drivers. Ah! Proving that anything can happen on the road.